In this video, let's see how you can connect local or staging GraphQL APIs on the production front end for debugging purposes. When we make changes to a model structure, write mutations, or modify resolvers, there is always a risk of breaking front ends. What if you can make those changes and test them with the production front end? You don't even need to deploy front end application on your local. Requestly makes it possible with replace rule. Let's see how you can leverage the replace rule in this type of scenario. We'll begin by creating a replace rule. Navigate to HTTP rules and select the replace rule option, which will bring up a configuration screen. Let me explain the fields you see here. First, there's the name of the replace rule. You should give it a meaningful name. Then there's the description field, where you can provide a more detailed explanation. In the URL field, define a matching criteria for the request that this rule should apply to you can match by URL, host, or path using various comparisons. It's also possible to apply advanced filters, such as selecting the resource type or method, though they won't be necessary for our current scenario. Now, let's configure a replace rule to redirect local traffic to the production front end. Imagine that your front end connects to api.example.com slash GraphQL, and you want to test local APIs with your front end. You can set up a replace rule that will redirect API calls from api.example.com to localhost on port 5000. Once this rule is saved, it will apply to all calls made from the browser. You can also use this same rule to redirect production traffic to a staging environment. Just replace the production URL with your staging URL, and it will start redirecting your production traffic to staging. I hope you have got enough ideas to configure replace rule for GraphQL APIs and how Requestly simplifies the working with GraphQL. We'd love to hear how Requestly has helped you in your projects. Share your success stories with us.